right so let's start let's try and install OCaml I'm using Ubuntu Linux if you are using Windows or you're using Mac OS then please find out how you can install it uh, OCaml should be straightforward to install shouldn't be a problem it's very stable very nice especially on Ubuntu now I'm going to use a package called OPAM OPAM it's a p op uh, open source package manager it's a nice one that I recommend everyone to uh, try and use on uh, especially if you're using Ubuntu Linux now to actually install it from open or to install open in the first place what we need to do go to the open website and then um, add the PPA to our repository so you just copy and paste that and remember to be use sudo and then you put your password please look away now put your password and then enter to continue and it's added and what you do now is just do uh, let me just copy and paste it quickly do apt get update I'm sorry we need to be a super user let me just pause now until it right I'm sorry I had to pause and then come back again so now it has finished updating what we need to do is quickly copy and paste that you can actually write that uh, type that in if you want again super user so what we're doing if you notice is we, we install OCaml and open uh, it'll tell you 137 gigabytes, you just say yes and then it'll probably take a while, let me pause again and come back to you when it finishes right, it has finished, I've, I haven't done anything literally, I was just waiting for it to download all the uh, necessary packages and prerequisite uh, packages and just to uh, you know ex uh, expand them and install them now, we have installed OCaml and OPAM if you want to make sure that OCaml is installed, you just can type OCaml or just say which or where is which OCaml is actually in a slash user slash bin or you can say where is OCaml I'm sure you're familiar with these commands um, if I haven't explained what a top loop is I'll explain it in one of my coming videos but by this time I'm sure I've said something about it before but if you want to uh, access top loop you just c uh, type in OCaml and you're there, it tells you now we have version 4.01.0 if you want to exit you just do control D and you're out and then for the OCaml compiler you just OCaml C and then you have the compiler if you press tab uh, that's what the OCaml compiler so top loop again just OCaml and you're there here as we said before or as we are going to say as you will see you can actually uh, declare variables uh, de uh, uh, have functions and execute uh, functions and do a lot of uh, operations that's installing it again I'm using Ubuntu Linux if you're using Windows if you're using uh, Macintosh then please find out how you can install it uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time